Welcome to this demonstration of the Mobile Form Builder. In this video, we're going to create a simple risk assessment form. To access the forms, click on the Settings button in the menu on the left-hand side, and then click Electronic Forms. Here you can see the list of forms available as standard, ones that you have deployed out to the engineer's device, and the custom forms you have built to yourself. Let's add a new form. Click the green Add Custom Form button in the top right-hand corner, and in the description box, provide your new form's title, in this example, Risk Assessment. On the left-hand side, you can see the Toolbox menu. This feature allows you to create questions in different formats, such as Single Input, Checkbox, Radio Group, Dropdowns, Multiple Choice, and so on. Let's select the Radio Group button to create a Yes, No, Not Applicable question. Click the Edit button and in the Name box provide the relevant title of your question. From there, select the Choices drop-down and edit the values accordingly. If you want to create a new question with the same format as the previous question, simply select the Copy button, which will replicate the question's form. Once again, click Edit to name the question. If the choices are the same, you do not need to change them. Click OK when you're done. If you have a question which does not need a third choice, delete the relevant choice by clicking on the red cross next to its name in the Choices drop-down. Questions can relate to each other logically. In the Toolbox menu on the left-hand side, select Checkbox to create a question in this format. Once again, click Edit to set up this new question as required. Fill out the values with the relevant choices. To add another option, simply click the green Add New button and amend accordingly. Questions in the form can relate to each other. In this demonstration, we'll make questions 3 and 4 relate. In the menu on the right-hand side, scroll down and click Edit for the Visible If category. If the entry for our PPE required question is yes, clicking OK will make the next question, the related one, show in the form. If the entry is no, the related question will not show. The menu on the right hand side provides lots of further options for relating questions to each other. Once you've finished adding the questions for that page, you can also create additional pages by clicking the Add New Page button. This enables the form to be broken up into sections, so that the engineers can answer the questions in sections rather than in one long list. Let's test the logic of the form by clicking on Test Survey. This will show your list of questions and show that any questions you've related to each other interact as required. Once you're happy with your form, you can click the green Save button to save your work or Save and Deploy to deploy the form out to your engineer's device. Staying in the top right-hand corner of the screen, click the Report Designer button to design your form. This screen shows how your form will look. Click the Dictionary tab at the bottom to bring up a list of data sources. This allows you to pull in fields from JobLogic and fields in from the mobile form. For example, you can pull in details such as company name and company address. Click the Layout tab at the top and then Align to align your fields up. Add in any further information as required. The Mobile Form Header drop-down will allow you to bring in the created mobile form data. In this example, the questions we created earlier. At the moment, these are just answers so the questions need labels. To do this, select the third box down on the list of images on the left and drag the text option over to the required place on the form. This text will be the label for that question. Fill in as required and click OK. This then marries up with the relevant question. Click the Home tab at the top to change fonts or make things bold. To see a preview of the output document, click the Preview tab. 
This has been a demonstration of the mobile form builder. For any questions or assistance, click the green live chat icon on the left-hand menu to speak to one of our team. Thank you for watching.